Dear readers, welcome to our message. All is proceeding according to plan even as appearances often indicate otherwise. Long-held concepts of right and wrong, good and bad, along with man-made rules of correctness regarding every aspect of life are being questioned in the hearts and minds of increasingly more individuals. You are now in a time that has been predicted, prayed for, and desired for thousands of years. You chose and were allowed to be on Earth at this powerful time in order to participate in Earth's ascension process but because the three-dimensional energy of Earth is so dense most of you were unaware of your intention and began to align with Earth's three-dimensional belief system. The ascension process is happening but even some who are aware of it continue to hold concepts of how it should look and manifest beings from other planets will come, save us, and change everything. World events are proving that the ascension process has not yet begun, etc. Let go of any and all concepts you may still have with regard to the ascension process. The human mind which interprets mainly from a third dimensional level is unable to fully comprehend the ascension process or understand how the high resonating energies accompanying it are affecting everything and everyone. Ideas and ways of living that reflect previous states of consciousness will become less relevant in many minds and begin to disappear automatically adding light energy to Earth's collective consciousness. Many of those unwilling or unable to accept new ideas and change are lashing out at everyone and everything they believe to be responsible for ruining the world, as they know it. It is important to understand that good humanhood is no more real than bad humanhood because both are material concepts of spiritual reality. Those spiritually prepared but who steadfastly refuse to accept anything other than what they have come to believe is reality often must learn what they are ready to learn the hard way through physical, emotional, or mental wake-up calls. Many commonly held beliefs are going to come into question this year as increasingly more embrace spiritual empowerment and begin to think for themselves. The ascension process is a reality regardless of whether or not it is known, believed, or resisted. The third dimension is the lowest rung of a very high dimensional ladder even as most consider human consciousness to be the epitome of intelligence and wisdom. Humans became increasingly stuck in density when over time and through ignorance of their true nature, they believed, lived, and continued to create their outer world from states of consciousness polluted with beliefs of duality, separation, and two powers. All life is the one and only life that of God or divine consciousness or source and the game of pretending anything other than that is over. It has gone on too long and increasingly more souls are tired of playing this game. Pain, suffering, lack, limitation etc etc have never been reality and only seem to be so because they have been the experiences of the majority throughout hundreds of lifetimes creating personal programming and a collective consciousness unaware of anything other than what can be seen, heard, tasted, touched, and smelled. Never doubt that you are a divine being, embodying the fullness of divine consciousness regardless of any appearances or situations that would indicate otherwise. Stop attempting to figure everything out through limited three-dimensional knowledge because finite human minds are incapable of aligning with and comprehending the infinite. Divine consciousness is, always has, and will infinitely continue expressing and revealing itself but those choosing to live with constant noise and outer distractions cannot hear the still small voice always flowing from within and so believe it does not exist. You and only you can choose spiritual evolution because you have free will. A person can play three-dimensional games and fritter away many lifetimes while doing it. They can choose to live as a ghost for a while, or even refuse to incarnate in order to experience their needed earth lessons. However, the high resonating energies pouring to earth at this particular time are such that those who do not take advantage of them will find themselves left in old energy. Creator consciousness is every person's consciousness because there is only one consciousness. Through ignorance and over time most have allowed their individualized divine consciousness to become filled with beliefs of separation, duality, and two powers which allows material forms of these beliefs to manifest outwardly leaving the person to believe that they are a victim of outside forces. The world has reached a readiness to move beyond the bondage that these beliefs create but leaving behind the familiar even if or when it is painful is difficult because these old energies are known and most fear the unknown. Try not to get overly involved in the news and images of war and suffering. Be aware of it, but remember that spiritual reality underlies every appearance. 
The old world consciousness is collapsing and its death throes are manifesting as situations that are often destructive and painful. Never forget that every person incarnates with a contract that they and their guides have put together pre-birth regarding experiences deemed necessary for further learning and spiritual growth. Do what you are guided to do when situations large or small arise while always recognizing the divinity of everyone involved. A smile, a kind word, needed support, a listening ear, petting a lonely dog, and always acknowledging the divine light shining from every person's eyes regardless of their state of consciousness. This is light work and is what you came to do. Even the simplest of activities done with spiritual awareness add light energy to Earth's collective and can actually lift or heal another if they are receptive. Whatever you give energy to feeds and continues it. Every war on drugs, cancer, or disease, war on this or that simply draws attention to and adds energy to the issue allowing it to stay alive and well in the collective. Your work as a spiritually awakened person is to live from your highest level of truth and as you do this, more will be given. This does not mean burying your head in the sand while shouting God is all but rather means reinterpreting appearances being in the world, but not of it. It is an intense and difficult time for many as long-held and seemingly innocent concepts and beliefs begin to crumble but the old must fall away in order for higher and more real forms of these same things, laws, beliefs, health care, military, government, to manifest. The world is in the midst of giving birth and the birth pangs will continue for a while yet. Not everyone is spiritually ready to understand what is happening to them and the world. Offer honest practical guidance when asked but do not attempt to inform, change, or force your knowledge on another in the belief that you are saving them. Every person has guides in a higher self and in some form or another is on their evolutionary path. Secretly and silently acknowledge the divine nature of every person and then go about your business. Those ready for truth will be drawn to you at the right time and it is usually someone you least expect to be interested in truth. Rest in reality, be rather than do, and trust that all is proceeding according to plan.